Um, I want to go to this uh, this uh, Indian ruins that they've redone and see if uh, it's worth actually paying the money to get into it. Let's check it out. Okay. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? We have a great map. It has a QR code on it. You scan the QR code and you have an interactive tour. That's really neat. And I got ants climbing on me. As a child, this fascinated me. The way that they used to live. Oh, I used to try and build pots or cook the way they did. Go out on the ranch and try and live like them. It is something fascinating. Listen to the audio tour. It has a lot of facts in it that are fascinating. These people are small. I need all my hands. <laughs> As you can see, it's not very big. <laughs> oh, kids' dream. This is cool. And you can't do this in Messe Verde crawl wherever you want, so this is pretty fun. So as you notice, we're just gonna let Kate climb in through those little windows and stuff, and I'll just stay out here and film. Oops, scratch my glasses. Well, what do you think of your childhood dream? I'd say this is definitely worth $12 a person. <laughs> and they got a military discount, which I think was like 10%, but hey, it's yeah. always appreciated. It's small, but it's really cool. I'd say if you had kids, it would probably be a number one place to stop. It's really nice, like you mentioned, that you can actually go into the dwellings. While I really like places to be preserved, it's nice to have a little bit so that you can get a feeling for what it was really like and just how small. Yeah, um, in 1906, they moved these from Messe Verde here and then built them a little bit more up, or they built them. So it's half authentic, half man-made, but it's pretty cool. This is a really neat site. Yeah. Yet again, well done. Oh, thank you. You're a good tour guide. <laughs> You're a cute tour guide. Yeah. Now we're gonna go do a little bit of shopping and that is not very interesting. Well, who knows? Depends on what kind of store you find. <laughs> Time to go shop and eat. Good morning. So we normally divide up our tasks of traveling and all the work that's involved pretty well. But lately Kate has moved into the primary position as our activities director, which has been awesome. Means I don't have to do anything. We get up in the morning and she tells me where we're going and you've been doing an amazing job. So I really hope you're just gonna stick with me on our full-time activities director. It's been fun. <laughs> So today we're in Cripple Creek. We're going on a hike around some of the old mines and then we're gonna go into the town of Cripple Creek and go to a museum. I picked this trail 
sale because I saw that it had a whole bunch of really old fashioned uh, gold mines on it. Oh, cool. And it seemed really interesting. And then Cripple Creek is supposed to have wild burrows running around. And if you're really lucky, you get to see them. And I'm hoping if it's still open, this museum that is a really old jail. Two stories. Oh, cool. There's some mining stuff right there. out on camera but the view from up here is breathtaking. This is where they kept all the gunpowder for the blasting. There's Pike's Peak right up there. We're not going to Pike's Peak because it's $15 per person and it's not worth it to us. The elevation is really high here. <laughs> As evidenced by all the gasping and panting both in front of and behind the camera. Besides, who needs to pay to drive up a hill? Well, we can come out here and walk all this for free. It's gorgeous out here. That's yeah, really cool. This is really cool. All they have signs up telling what everything is and the history of it. Wind is kicking, so maybe you can't hear this, but there's actual mining going on behind us. I heard some explosions, saw the big old trucks driving by, and it's a great altitude hike. Yeah. Well, I think we're headed to Cripple Creek and cross your fingers, burrows. <laughs> well, we haven't even made it to Cripple Creek yet, and I already found my new dream home. Well, now I don't feel so bad about being a little bit out of breath up here. Check this out. And it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're doing pretty good for 10,000 plus feet. We were just driving along and saw this mining outlook. Look out. Look out. Oh. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> we were driving along and saw this outlook. Look out. Look out. See, once I say it once, I can't help myself. Look out. Okay, we were driving along, we saw this look out. So we thought we'd stop. Right on the top of that hill is one of those giant dump trucks Katie's been itching to get a picture of. Now it's freezing. We're going back into the car. Huge dump truck. Cool. Was researching this place said it had a museum law and outlaws that's two stories and supposed to be really cool by the pictures so here we are <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> the hall with the sheriff's name it came as our processing display Now this is the upstairs where they house the women and children. Well this is crap. Did you see the men's cells down there? <laughs> well yeah, but 10 years in this? Uh, hey, but you had heat. <laughs> they were in most of the apartments we rent. <laughs> well, that's true. Oh, who's that lady? Look at this. Oh, you even got a window? Nice. After murdering your husband, this is probably paradise. <laughs> hey. Ha. Hey Kate, I found your sign. <laughs> Wayward woman. Oh, the most they had in here was six women. So in the mail cells, that recording of the guy talking, they were talking to ghosts in there. They had like a machine to try and talk to ghosts in the prison. They were asking them questions. I, I didn't hear any of the ghosts answer them back though. <laughs> that 
that was really cool. Now off to see the donkeys. Kind of like the sound of that door. That was awesome. Well, at least you get to come over here. Hey. Now she's popular. Sorry, that's it. Oh, you're a delicate. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should never. See if you've gotten over sooner. Bye, guys. I have to leave because I feel guilty. I didn't have enough apples for every single one of them. They look really disappointed, Kate. Oh, look at them. Look at those two, they're just soaking off. Look at them. <laughs> you broke their little burrow hearts. What now, tour director? Um, Victor Creek. Julie McCoy says we go to Victor Creek, we go to Victor Creek. All right. What's a Victor Creek? This is a Victor, <laughs> as opposed to a Victorville, which doesn't exist. Hi. Or a Victor Creek, <laughs> which also doesn't exist. We're having the hardest time coming up with the name of this place. <laughs> it's very simple, just Victor. But at the height, it used to have 17,000 500 people. Now it only has 400. That's true. Hello. As well as the loudest bikes on the planet. <laughs> it's definitely an adorable little town. Kate's got her mask on because her face is cold. There is nobody else around. No. <laughs> It was a fun day of history. All that time on cruise ships made you a real Julie McCoy. Oh. Starbucks. Head to Starbucks? Yep. It's like an hour away, but Victor was cool. Cool little town. Yeah. Um, but that is it. So off we go. <laughs> We've had a great time hiking and exploring around Colorado Springs, but now it's time to go. Our hotel room was really big, but not that clean. We found a Jolly Rancher, a rubber ball, a whole fingernail, and this. With that combination, I have absolutely no desire to figure out what happened in this room. <laughs> Coffee, keys, let's go. Snow, but I have to drive in it. The weather has finally caught up with us on this trip. Leave <laughs> the thumbs up and subscribe. No, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs>